Uh, hey guys, what's up? This is my review for uh, the DVD Fiends. Uh, I think it's week 9, maybe even 10, I'm not sure. But today I'm going to do a movie that is fairly new. It's, I believe, a Swedish vampire fil film called Let the Right One In. I watched it a couple of times already, and I must say that it is one of the best vampire movies I've ever seen, if not the best serious vampire I've movie I've ever seen. I mean, it's you can't compare it to stuff like Lost Boys and Fright Night because those are fun, campy things. And I've loved those since I was a child. But seriously, Let the Right One In is probably one of the best horror movies I've seen in a very, very long time. I was uh, very surprised, and I was actually touched by the movie. It was really well made. Like usually, horror movies, like unless they're really good or a different kind of horror movie, don't like touch you. They just really entertain you and you can s scare you, stuff like that. But this one really just made me feel, I liked uh, the movie I felt for the characters, some of them, I really enjoyed the movie a lot, it has a really cool scene, scenery, like atmosphere I guess, uh, setting, I mean, setting, it's in like this little town, it's freezing cold in the winter, there's cool ice, like ice in the places, there's snow everywhere, like, I don't know, but something for the film that's cool is, is when you see, everyone breathes out, you see all the breath, and usually, that's, eh, I never think anything of it, this one I thought of it more, uh, it's just a really cool movie, all around, it's uh, uh, kind of like, uh, it's a pretty serious tale, like, girl moves in, and she has like a caretaker and everything, she's the vampire, she befriends a small boy who's always picked on, who's really weird, who keeps like clippings of killings and murders and stuff, they become friends, they kind of get close and everything and stuff like that, and she has to survive, she needs the blood, she doesn't like to do it, which is cool because I always felt the only two kind of vampires there should be are really just the ones that hate themselves for doing it, or the ones that are just evil and taken over by it all, that are like mass evils. I don't like those like techno shit vampires that are dancing around and stuff. I've seen a couple movies with them that they're okay, but come on man, that's stupid. I mean, really there should be only a few different kinds of monsters, ones that have to do it, ones that love doing it and ones that are so mindless they don't care. Uh, this one is a, like, oh sorry, let me, I'm getting off track, but uh, this one, it brings back a lot of the vampire themes that seem to disappear from movies, and they do it well. I mean, like, I think the director of this movie sat down and thought, hmm, what are some questions I've always asked about vampires? That would be cool. Yeah, what happened to this, blah, 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 like, let the right one in, what happens if a vampire comes in without you seeing, like, without you inviting them in? That's an awesome scene. I'm going to show that. So, spoiler ahead. So, be forewarned, okay? I'll show it now. Sha. Hey. You must be in me. What happened if I didn't do it? Vad händer om du går in ändå? Finns det något här? Spoilers over, okay? There's a thing, and there's also other things like, I love the idea of a caretaker, somebody who takes care of the vampire when they're in slumber and everything like that, because a dog just doesn't cut it sometimes, and the ones without any caretaker, I mean, anyone can creep in there and just kill them. And also the idea of the caretaker doing a lot for the vampire and going around and stuff is cool, going out the day farm. Uh, having to move the town to town kind of reminded me of Blood for Dracula, I mean. The vampire would have to occasionally move and stuff, and it, it, 
addresses all this and stuff. And uh, I don't know. It's just a lot of the characters are well liked. There's a lot of cool stuff and everything, and that fine detail about who the man, who the uh, caretaker was once, is really cool. I like that a lot. He's grown old now. I don't want to give too much away, but. I don't want to go into that much detail because it's a really good movie and I don't want to ruin it for anyone and it is fairly new. You have to read subtitles, but that's fine with me. It should be fine usually with most people. But if you haven't seen Let the Right One In, go watch it because it is a superb uh, vampire flick that is serious and has some cool stuff and some cool characters that are well liked. And some violence, some gore a little bit, some cool scenes. I mean, there is like a couple scenes where they use CG a little bit for like a cat scene, but... Uh, it looks alright. I mean, it's nothing special, but I don't blame them for what they used. Now, like, animal services or whatever would be so upset if they were just tossing cats around for real. But, uh, I'm going to leave you on a note. I'm going to show you one of the murders in the movie. But, spoiler ahead, I'm going to end it with the murder. So there you go. Have a good one. There you go. Bye. Aye, aye. Ja, försiktig. Du behöver inte. <skratt>